Hi, I'm Lawrence Rajendran. I am a professor of cell biology and neuroscience at the University of Zurich. My focus of research is on dementias. So these are age-related neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease. And the course that I thought I will provide is going to be on dementias. It's uh, basically about how we get the disease all the way to what we do when we get the disease, what is the therapy and how do we deal with it. So um, instead of just designing the course in, you know, in kind of a monologue like the way that I'm giving at the moment, uh, I thought it'll, it'll be better to have some kind of a collaborative initiative with a student. In this case, it's not a medical student or a biology student. Evelyn Bosch is an art student who is interested in understanding the complex diseases like Alzheimer's disease. And, and um, she's going to tell you how we plan to do this project together by combining science and art for education. Yes, I'm Evelyn and I will try to help you understand what he is talking about by putting all the information into pictures and uh, show you the whole process as it is in the easiest way to understand. So the course is designed um, to have four main parts. Today the population is aging and the life expectancy is getting higher and higher. So we need to think about age-related disorders. So the question is why do we actually get the disease? What is the connection with aging? What are the other risk factors that can increase the propensity to get the disease? And two is what exactly happens in the brain of these patients? This is where we collaborate and uh, we try to address this level at the macroscopic level and then go slowly into exactly what happens in the neurons or the astrocytes and the microglia and, and also at the cellular level, exactly what smaller compartments like endosomes, Golgi, apparatus, etc., how they contribute. And, and so the, this is the aspect where we deal with the molecular mechanisms, the disease mechanisms. Aspect of the project would be on diagnosis. How we can diagnose the disease, what are the techniques that are available, and where the future seems to go. High resolution uh, magnetic resonance imaging are now available where we can kind of get in the clues or peek into these brains of these patients who are at the very early stage. And the fourth aspect is exactly what I said in the beginning how do we treat the patients when the patient already is suffering from Alzheimer's disease? Can we prevent? Can we cure? Can we do some rehabilitation therapy? So this is what the course is about. Thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to, to bringing the best out of the arts and science together for education purposes.